Hi, if you have some background knowledge of Windows Server, you will remember that prior to Windows Server 2008, it's only possible to apply one password policy and account lockout policy to all the users you have in your domain. If you like different users to have different password policies, the way to do it is with fine-grained password policy. And that's what I'm going to be showing you in this video. Let's check it out. To create a fine-grained password policy, we'll need to load the Active Directory Admin Center console. And again, we'll do that from the Server Manager by clicking on Tools and we click on Active Directory Administrative Center. After loading the Active Directory Administrative Center console, we're going to click on the domain and let's locate System Container. Double click on it. From here, scroll down to locate Password Settings Container. We can right click on this, select New and click on Password Settings. The first thing we'll need to do from here is to give our password settings a name. How about we call this password settings for directors. Next, we'll need to give it a preference number. In case you have two conflicting password settings, the one with the lower precedence number will override the one with the higher precedence number. So I'm going to go with the precedent number of one here. And the next setting here is the length of our password. This is self-explanatory. And I guess we don't want a very long password for our directors. So we can try to reduce this to five. The next setting is enforced password history. If this is checked, it will allow you to keep the memory of previous passwords used. And the next one is number of passwords to remember. The default settings here is 24. That is, these settings will remember your last 24 passwords. Now, because we don't want anything super complex for the directors, we'll try to reduce this to 10. And next is password must meet complexity requirements. If this is turned on, it means that when choosing a password, they will have to use alphanumeric and special characters when creating their passwords. That is, the password that they choose will need to have uppercase, lowercase, numbers, letters, and special characters. This is usually the best practice. However, in this case, we want the directors to be able to use any password they wish. So we're going to leave this unchecked. Next is store password using reversible encryption. This policy settings determines whether the operating system stores password in a way that uses reversible encryption. And keep in mind that passwords that are stored with reversible encryption are the same as plain text version of the passwords. So you want to make sure that you leave this disabled at all times. So I'll leave it disabled. Next is protect from accidental deletion. As the name suggests, it helps prevent us from accidentally deleting user and group objects. If you attempt to delete a user or a group, you will get a message telling you that the object is protected from accidental deletion. So I guess it's good to have that protection. So I'll leave this checked. Next is the minimum password age. The default is set to one. This means that when a user changes his or her password, he or she will need to use that password for at least one day before he or she is able to change it. So I'll maintain the default value, which is one here. Next is enforce maximum password age. Users must change the password after certain number of days. And the default here is 42 days. We don't want the directors complaining that they have to change their password every so often. So how about we relax this a little bit for them. So let's change this to 60 days. So the directors will be required to change their password every 60 days. Next is enforce account lockout policy. By default, this is turned off, but it helps prevent against password guessing and brute force attempts against our passwords. If I choose to turn it on, you'll notice we have number of failed logon attempts allowed. How about we make this four? So 
it is assumed that even when you try out your password yourself, you are not allowed to miss your password more than four times. So if you don't get the password right after the fourth attempt, there is a high chance that it's probably not you typing in the password anyways. So what happens after four invalid logon attempts? Your account is going to be locked, which is the settings that we have here. Account will be locked out for how long? The default value is 30 minutes. So how about we reduce this to 20 minutes? And there's one more setting here, which is reset fail logon attempt count after how many minutes. This number here should equal to the number of the lockout duration. So I'm going to make this 20 as well, which means that the system is going to be released after 20 minutes for you to retry your password again. Next is for us to apply the password setting. We can choose to apply the password setting to a group or directly to a user account. How about we apply it to one of the directors? We have one of the directors name as Scott. So I'm going to look up Scott and we can now click on OK. So now let's attempt to test. Now let's test things out. For testing sake, I'm going to attempt to reset the password of any other user other than the Scott user. So let's look up our sales container. We have a few users here. Uh, the director user is also here. So how about we go ahead and reset the password for Adam Smith. Reset password. I'm going to go ahead and make this password five character long. And you can see we get the error telling us that the password does not meet the complexity requirement. Let's do the same for Scott. Reset password. I'm using the same five character long password, which is also a dictionary based word, by the way meaning it doesn't have to meet complexity requirements of having uppercase, lowercase, special characters. So let me click on OK here and you see it accepted it just fine. Just to reiterate, in the past we couldn't create multiple password policies. You either weaken the password policy for everyone or you tighten it for everyone. But with fine-grained password policy, we can. And just as you're able to see, we were able to create one and we applied it to one of our director users.